Won't be long, and we'll be talking about pitchers and catchers reporting to spring training. One of the National League's bright young uh, pitching stars calls North Texas home, and he was back recently sharing some knowledge with some future stars. Edward Egras here now with his story. Ed? Deuce, Noah Syndergaard is only 23 years old. He's only pitched professionally for five years, but in that short period of time, the Mansville native has learned more than enough to teach a young group of pitchers at the Davis Skill Center how to be better physically and mentally. It still feels like a, a dream come true. It, um, I, I look back on it and it just it, it doesn't feel real, but I've just been extremely blessed and, and fortunate and uh, it's been the, the ride of a lifetime. Life has predictably changed for Cindergaard, signing more autographs and entertaining more fans. To him, it's surprising given where he was just a year and a half ago. 2014, I was in Vegas. I was going through a lot of ups and downs, um, just having a little issues with, with confidence and kind of doubting myself as a, as a big league pitcher. And I, I went to that off season. Uh, I worked hard and I, I learned from that season. I learned about those failures. And I think it's really helped me this year, helped me it grow as a, an individual and even more as an adult. It's a muscle that stays relaxed, moves 33% faster than a, a tight muscle. So a uh, big emphasis on staying relaxed. These are some of the lessons Cindergard is teaching these kids with the same upbringing as he had. I see these kids and uh, I was in their I was in their shoes about 15 years ago. So I mean, I want to be able to work with them as much as I can and maybe inspire them to to, to get to where I am right now. Frankly, talent also matters. Cindergard has advice there too. Most of the kids when they they come to a camp like this, they're their ultimate goal is to throw harder, and I mean that's. I mean, I was fortunate enough to be to be blessed with the, the ability to throw a ball fairly hard, um, and that's all fine and dandy and nice and stuff. It looks good, but it's not all about I mean, throwing hard. You're not always going to have your best stuff, so you got to go out there and, and learn to battle, and uh, still be able to get produce outs. You're going out there and you're, and you're having fun. The uh, the advantages in, in your court. There is one more lesson center guard wants to teach, one of the more important and unavoidable observations when watching his pitching, how to grow out your hair. We have a section that's all about shampoo and conditioning, so uh, that's, that'll be fun. Hey, Deuce, why weren't you part of that uh, shampoo and conditioning uh, <laughs> section? Anyway, uh, when not teaching uh, campers, Syndergaard says he's hungrier than ever to become a world champion this year. And oddly enough, the Mets open the season April 3rd at the Kansas City Royals. Deuce. I could teach the uh, the gel the gel portion <laughs> of the, uh, the hair symposium. Very important. Edward Egras, thank you very much.